What's up boys? Today we're going to be covering how I personally like to break out of Rocket League slumps. Now if you've never experienced one of these, you're definitely one of the lucky ones. After nearly 4,000 hours in this game, I have had my fair share of them. But I've also had time to come up with ways to combat my slumps. So in this video, I'm going to cover 5 ways to break out of a slump or rut in Rocket League. Okay, the first method is to take a break. The length of the break is going to be totally up to you. I have taken 3 day breaks and I've taken up to a month break. Now the longer the break, the more rusty you're probably going to be when you come back. But, I have noticed that after taking a break, I always seem to come back and play a little bit different. I know this is probably going to be the least popular method because it does require you to stop playing the game for a little bit, but it is effective and I have used it over the years, so I figured why not throw it in. Moving right along to something that lets you continue playing the game. Studying replays is something that it took a while for me to want to do, but once I started doing it, I instantly saw the benefit of it. If you watch from your opponent's or even your teammate's perspective of what you're doing, you can instantly see where you're messing the plays up, where your positioning might be off, how you could have shot the ball better, what your opponents were doing while you were doing stuff with the ball, so you can kind of get an idea of how your opponents are playing. There's all kinds of stuff that you can see from studying your replays. And if you like to take studying your replays one step further, you can try writing down the things that you find in your replays. This way, the things that you need to work on will always be fresh on your mind and you won't resort to your old habits. Alrighty, moving right along to number three. This third method is going to be for anyone struggling with how their game feels. A lot of times when going through a rut, my game would feel slow and heavy. A lot of people may know this as the heavy car bug. The easiest way to break out of the heavy car bug is going into a private match that has slow-mo on. I recommend doing at least a full 5 minute game, but the longer you play with slow-mo on, the more you'll notice its effect. This method has worked for me for years and it works pretty much every time, pretty much a foolproof way to make your game feel better. And if you're on PC and have Bacchus mod enabled, while you're in free play, if you go to the current game tab, if you come down to this bar right here, if you lower it, I usually like to go about right here, and your game will be way slower than what the normal slow-mo can give you. And this will make the effect way stronger whenever you stop and go back to the normal game speed. Alright, on to number four, which is going to be study high-level gameplay. Now this is going to be similar to studying your own replay, but the idea is to watch someone at least a couple of ranks higher than yourself. And what I mean by watch them is try to really pay attention to the things that they're doing. Try to keep a close eye on where they're positioning themselves when their teammate has the ball and is pushing forward. Are they staying back in net waiting for the ball to get boom back to them, or are they moving up with their teammate waiting for a pass? On defense, are they sitting in the middle of net? Are they sitting far post? Are they sitting near post? Just try to really see where the ball is at and what they're doing at that time. And if you study your own replays, you can apply that to what you do and you can instantly see where you're going wrong. Also try to keep track of their boost management. High level players are constantly getting boost and holding on to their boost until they need to use it. If you're watching your own replays, you can see what you're doing with your boost and if you're just randomly using it or are you holding on and using it when it's needed. There's just so many little things to pick up on when you're watching higher level players, but I feel like most people just kind of blindly watch them and don't really take into account what they're seeing. If you can really study what they're doing and see how it's different from your own gameplay and then apply it to your own gameplay, you're gonna break out all that rut in no time. Alrighty boys, on to the last tip of this video, and it is going to be main casual for a little bit and just have fun with the game. If you're going through a rut, you're most likely not having fun with the game anymore. One thing I like to do when I'm no longer having fun is to hop into casual and just kind of mess around. I'll go for super crazy shots, you know, just non-stop air dribbles, flip resets, booming the ball around, just anything that I want to do to vent my frustration. Even better if you have some buddies that you can play with and y'all just go for crazy stuff. Once I start having fun again, I try to take that mindset that I have from casual into ranked, which is way easier said than done, I'll admit. But if you can do it, you'll start having fun with the game again, and you should break out of your rut pretty easy. 
Alrighty boys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope these five tips help you out. If you have tips that I did not cover to break out of ruts, please let me know in the comments. If you made it this far, I appreciate you, and I will talk to you in the next one.